Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. This month on Resin Bell, we're going to be doing 30 pours in 30 days. Oh my gosh. Um, a resin on a resin channel? Shocking. I know, right? So we're going to be working with UV resin, epoxy resin. We're going to be doing dirty pours, um, coasters, jewelry, trays, all kinds of different things. So um, it's going to get wild. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today we're going to be working with some UV resin and these little gumball machine Temu molds that come with the little glass globes. Um, yeah, I'm going to be using some glitters from Counterculture DIY. We're going to be using Shooting Star and Violacious. Uh, we're going to be using some green glow powder and that is from Grateful Glitters LLC. Really excited to try that stuff out in UV resin. And we're going to be using Using a couple of UV resin pigments and scarlet red and light green and you can find these on Amazon those are light wish and they are on my Amazon product list if you want to go check that out um, my Tim you order um, referral code is in the description box below if you use them through my link I do get a little bit of a kickback on that so um, you can go and find these on there as well I thought they were a cute little kit so uh, I'll also be using some UV resin from Counterculture DIY, and thank you to them for sending that to me to use. So, let's get this pour party started, y'all. Okay, so for the first thing I did was take a piece of clear tape, just a little clear tape, and I went around the outside edge. That does help to hold the mold together long enough to use it in uh, the... <laughs> This is, you know, the walls of these are pretty thin, but I think they'll be all right. So we're going to try that out. See what she looks like um, so the one thing you got to keep in mind with UV resin is if you're doing a small area like this it's actually got quite a bit of space in the center if you put too much in it's possible that the inside will not actually cure because the light can't get through it can't get to it from all sides now I cured this on all sides facing up um, so let's see what happens. I think, uh, I think the walls are thick enough. It'll be fine. So I'm just going to go with it. Let's uh, see what one of these looks like on top. We'll have to decide. Oh my gosh. Look guys, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. That is so adorable. So I'll have to decide what I want to be in there. You could use these for dry goods, you could put little pearls, whatever, in there, or you could use it as a, um, a, uh, a floaty. You could put some oil in there and have some glitter and stuff floating around. How cute would that be? These would be cute for, like, little necklaces or pencil toppers. How cool would that be to have that on the top of a pen? That would be so fun. Anyway, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, check out that glow, you guys. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. I love that powder. It looks so stinking cool. Alright, so let's work on this one. So when you pull these out, the bottom of the machine is actually on the top. So you pull it out and you flip it over 
and you get this super cute cute cuteness I'm not sure it comes with five it comes with four molds and then five of these little glass domes and then you know the little glass dome has a little fill hole so you know if you wanted to seal it put stuff in it seal it and then put some oil in it would be easy to do that or you can use that as a way to turn it into a necklace or something but yeah well I mean, look how cute that is it's so cute oh my gosh okay I love these <laughs> And uh, I think uh, I might just leave those in there because this will be my extra, my extra, extra. <laughs> Let's try this out. And I've got a little bit. I'm going to just start pouring my excess in these. These are so small and easy. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Okay, I love this one. This one's a very classic style. Very cool. Goes on top. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Oh yeah. That is adorable. I love that. Super cute. All right, so we've got three of the four styles done. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to finish these up. Okay, so we're gonna do our last one here. I'm going to try mixing glitter and the glow together and see what happens. Super cute. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Look how cute. Sparkly, but also glowy. What do you guys think? Which shape do you like the best? I think I'm kind of somewhere in between this one and this one, I think. too. I don't know. They're all cool. I like them all. Super awesome. Okay. I'm just going to take a, an exacto knife and clean those up a little bit. these things so um, this one I think I'm going to turn it kind of into a Halloween style and this is what you get but this is how they come they come all wrapped up so that they're you know safe or whatever and if they break then you know the pieces are inside but none of mine broke and it was shipped in a bag so as you can see some holes might be a little bit larger in the mouth than others so 
if you have you know different things you want to include inside you might think about that so I've got this um, mix it's got little rainbows and stars and stuff and this is from BNB glitter um, bnbglitter.com is over the rainbow fake sprinkles so I'm going to put some of those inside of this one and then this one is probably going to be I don't know, maybe the glittery perhaps the glittery one the glitter glow one might be the rainbow one <laughs> I don't know I just want to try to get some of these in there I don't want to fill it up all the way. I do want it to be able to, you know, kind of move around in the in there and be kind of like a little dry shaker. So I don't want to put too many in there. Maybe, maybe about halfway. So ready to go. These two have the kind of rainbow sprinkles. Those are going to be cute. And then these two have the kind of Halloween sprinkles. That one's the purple glitter and the gold glowing orb. <laughs> so I'm going to get these on here now. All right. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to get my resin ready here. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. So I'm going to turn that on. Put my resin on. straight. <laughs> it keeps sliding off. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to try to get it straight. And then turn this bad boy on. <laughs> that's what I would be using right now but I don't 10 seconds for that side 10 seconds for that side generally I like to keep my hands out of the business but I don't use it very often so I think I'll be all right all right I'll slide that under there and let it cure for 99 Okay, I think this one I'm going to go a little different route. Let's see how this goes. So I got these and I honestly cannot remember if I got these from Timu or if I got them from AliExpress. I think I got these from Timu, but I'm not 100% sure, but you could check in the description box for my link for Timu and uh, yeah, get yourself a discount and see if you can find those. Um, I decided picked out a different color for each one. I think these are going to be cute. So I'm going to add little drop of resin, put that in and then cure it. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, just... <sighs> How stinking cute are those? Oh my gosh. I love those. And see, so you could even take some... Um, some acrylic paint and put them in the details you know make some black out in those inside uh, put a little different colors in there if you wanted to oh my gosh there's so many ways you could make those details pop and you know really make these come across well and oh, just can we just oh come on like they're so cute I love those so thank you guys so much for joining the 30 pours and 30 days pour party and I hope you guys are getting your pour on and hit that like button and that subscribe button for me if you would please that will help me out so much and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow.